Did you know that septic systems are the responsibility of you, the homeowner? Did you know that your drinking water could be contaminated if your septic system is not taken care of properly? Properly maintained septic systems should provide long-term, effective treatment of household wastewater and avoid the possibility of contaminating our drinking water and the environment. If you take good care of your system, you will save yourself the time, money, and worries involved in replacing a failed system. Failed systems can be hazardous to your health, the environment, and your pocketbook. It can degrade water supplies and reduce your property's value. The septic maintenance program at the Township of Oro Medante has been implemented to identify any potential evidence of malfunctioning or failing septic systems and to protect our valuable water supply. This presentation provides information on the background of the program. It includes the legislation and intent of the septic maintenance program, identifies the affected properties and applicable cycles, indicates the program requirements including the township and property owner's responsibility addressing some commonly asked questions, provides some additional resources, and finally provides an opportunity to ask any further questions. In 2011, the Ontario Building Code was amended to establish and govern a provincially mandated private on-site sewage system maintenance inspection program to be administered by the municipality. In 2016, further amendments expanded the scope of the provincially mandated inspection program. The Building Code amendments help protect our drinking water and the environment by supporting the implementation of the Clean Water Act and the Lake Simcoe Protection Plan. Risk management is provided to protect our ratepayers, our community, and the township. A septic maintenance program has been implemented with certain geographical areas of the township of Oro Medante. The main purpose of the program is to protect the quality of our drinking water and environment by identifying malfunctioning on-site sewage systems that may be contributing to the contamination of source water in areas of Oro Medante. The objective of the septic maintenance program is to protect our water supply, such as Lake Simcoe and municipal wells that could potentially be adversely affected by septic systems. The township of Oro Medante contains many sources of water that must be considered and preserved. There are two major lakes including Lake Simcoe and Bass Lake, as well as many tributaries including ponds, wetlands, rivers and streams. Oro Medante contains a large number of properties utilizing septic systems and municipal well as we are a rural community. There are well over 8,000 existing septic systems and 12 municipal drinking water systems within the township. The program also considers risk management to protect our ratepayers, our community, and the township. Lastly, the program creates a record of information about each septic system and municipal water systems that can be referenced for future. The following displays a map of Lake Simcoe Protection Plan mandatory on-site sewage inspection program areas. The Lake Simcoe watershed areas are outlined in gray and the septic inspection boundary is highlighted in yellow. As you can see, the on-site sewage inspection program covers a large portion of Oro Medante and other townships within Simcoe County, York Region, Durham and Kawartha Lakes. The septic maintenance program includes all properties within 100 meters of source water protection areas such as municipal wellheads, properties within 100 meters of Lake Simcoe shoreline, and properties within 100 meters of tributary rivers, streams, lakes or ponds that drain into Lake Simcoe. The program is a reoccurring five-year cycle and the affected properties are now entering the second or third five-year cycle. The following map displays the source water protection area within Oro Medante. The municipality contains 12 municipal wellheads indicated by the red dots. The total number of affected properties is 132 and the total number of sewage systems is 127. The following map displays the properties affected within the Lake Simcoe shoreline and tributary areas. The red lines on the map outline a 100 meter buffer to water supplies. The current five year cycle is 2021 to 2025, and the total number of affected properties is 2,664, 
with the total number of sewage systems being 1,863. The septic maintenance program is divided into three program requirements, including the township's responsibility, the property owner's responsibility, and cost recovery. The following slides will address each division of program requirements. The Township of Oromodonte is responsible for communicating, inspecting, and obtaining compliance for the septic maintenance program for each five-year cycle. The Township communicates to all affected property owners through mail. The Township inspectors will conduct visual site inspections at all affected properties throughout the five-year cycle. The Township then obtains compliance of the applicable property owner's reports and supporting documents for each sewage system. Going further into detail about the visual site inspection performed by the Township inspectors, the Ontario Building Code outlines sewage system operation and maintenance requirements that form the basis for the visual site inspection. Inspections are conducted to identify any evidence of malfunction or failure and a notification status card will be left on site as displayed to the right. The criteria that the inspectors identify about the sewage systems during the visual inspection includes ensuring the sewage system shall not emit, discharge, or deposit sanitary sewage or effluent onto the surface of the ground, ensuring it's operated in accordance with the basis on which the use of the sewage system was approved and the requirements of the manufacturer, ensuring that the land in the vicinity of the sewage system shall be maintained in a condition that will not cause damage to or impair the functioning of the sewage system. The following map displays the minimum separation distances for septic systems to structures, pools, decks, dug or drilled wells, trees, and gardens. The property owner is responsible for submitting the appropriate supporting documents and paying the applicable fees for the septic maintenance program. All of the supporting documents may be submitted via email to smp at oromodonte.ca. The applicable fees are cost recovery to administer the on-site sewage system maintenance program. There is a $29 fee which will be applied annually to the affected property tax account in accordance with the fees and charges bylaw as amended. Going further into detail about the applicable supporting documents, the Ontario Building Code outlines sewage systems operation and maintenance requirements that form the base for the required supporting documents. The applicable supporting documents required include the septic tank inspection report, which is applicable for all septic tanks. The report is reviewed for size, condition, material and operation. The septic tanks and other treatment units shall be cleaned whenever sludge and scum occupy one-third of the working capacity of the tank. The maintenance agreement which is applicable for all treatment units, for example, EcoFlow, Waterloo Biofilter, Elgin, Enviroseptic, etc. No person shall operate a treatment unit other than a septic tank unless the person has entered into a maintenance and service agreement. Every Class 5 sewage system, holding tank, shall be provided in accordance with an agreement for the disposal of sanitary sewage with a hauled sewage system operator. The service report which is applicable for Norico and Aquarobic treatment units only and will be accepted as an alternative document to the above types. A septic tank inspection is applicable for all septic tanks except as noted under service report. The property owner must retain a licensed sewage hauler or septic professional to conduct an inspection of the septic tank or holding tank. Additionally, a copy of the inspection report must be obtained. Typically, this does involve having the septic tank pumped. Under typical use, a septic tank often requires pumping within five years. The Septic Smart Guide recommends inspecting the system every three to five years and pumping out the solids and scum when required. The Septic Smart Guide can be found at the following link. If your property is seasonal or otherwise not fully utilized, you may wish to find a company that is able to inspect the tank without pumping. 
Completed reports can be submitted to smp at oralmedante.ca or our mail drop box here at the Township Administration Office. The following is an example of a septic tank inspection report completed after pumping. A maintenance agreement is applicable for treatment units except as noted under service report. Property owners must obtain a copy of an annual maintenance agreement. Additionally, advanced treatment units such as Waterloo Biofilter, EcoFlow, and Aquarobic require annual maintenance and a current maintenance record submitted to the township. Conventional septic systems use two main components, including a septic tank and a leaching bed that perform well in various soil types and site situations. An advanced treatment system may be preferred where site conditions and soil types are not suitable for conventional septic systems. More information about advanced treatment units can be found at the following link. Maintenance agreement reports can be submitted to smp at oromodonte.ca or our mail drop box here located at the Township Administration Office. A service report is applicable for Norico and Aquarobic treatment units only. It is an acceptable alternative document to the septic tank inspection report and the maintenance agreement. A recent service report can be obtained from a maintenance provider. Again, the service report can be submitted to smp at oromodante.ca or our mail drop box here located at the Township Administration Office. Here is a list of commonly asked questions. What if I have a treatment unit? Visual inspections must be conducted on the entire system, the septic tank, treatment unit, and distribution bed. Most systems include a septic tank and treatment unit. The exception is an aquarobic and a microfast. Units require annual maintenance and samples as per your maintenance agreement. What if I have a holding tank? Existing holding tanks are acceptable. Tanks shall be pumped and are maintained regularly. A visual tank report is required. What if it's only for seasonal use? All identified properties are subject to the program regardless of the frequency of use. How do I locate a qualified pumper? Referrals, yellow pages, and online searching. Compliance Goals Provincially legislated compliance is required for all properties. Those properties that have not complied with the deadlines will be subject to issuance of applicable orders and further legal action. This is not the preferred approach for the township. How was the mapping created? The mapping has been provided to us by Lake Simcoe Regional Conservation Authority and the Ministry of the Environment. The township is administering the program based on properties that are located within the 100 meter buffer from the lakes, streams, ponds, and waterways identified by the Lake Simcoe Regional Conservation Authority and the Ministry of the Environment in this mapping. Is there funding available? Please contact the Lake Simcoe Conservation Authority, Severn Sound Environmental Association, or the County of Simcoe. But what if my sewage system is not located within the 100 meter buffer? Staff conducted a comprehensive review of all the affected properties based on the mapping and septic records. All sewage systems identified outside the boundary were deemed exempt from future cycle compliance requirements. If it is determined the tank and tile bed is not within the regulated distance, why is the property not exempt from the program from that point forward? Properties located within the 100 meter boundary remain in the septic maintenance program. Although the sewage system may be outside the boundary, the remainder of the property is still within the program and staff are required to ensure the future development does not change the status of the file. But what if I complied in the first five year cycle? Thank you for your cooperation. The program is a reoccurring five-year cycle with no end date identified by the province. Why is it necessary for township staffs to visually inspect the bed each time the tank is pumped? 
even after the first inspection slash cycle has taken place. Can the pumper not confirm both the condition of the tank and the tile bed? The Township administers the program as a municipal staff inspection program. The Ontario Building Code requires a qualified BCIN municipal inspector to conduct the necessary visual inspections, which includes the tile bed, septic tank, and surrounding area. Previous administration through third-party certificates was unsuccessful due to the varying cost and detail of reports provided. Does the legislation apply to the stream only, or does it actually apply to the regulated lands as well? Originally, it was only applied for the distance from the actual body of water. The program includes all properties within 100 meters of Lake Simcoe shoreline, 2011, 100 meters of source protection area, municipal wellheads, 2012, 100 meters to rivers, streams, lakes, or ponds. This was new for 2016. Properties have been identified through mapping provided by Lake Simcoe Regional Conservation Authority and the Ministry of the Environment with OBC requirements. If we have a qualified maintenance inspection program for our septic and tile bed, why do we also need the inspection from the township? Advanced treatment units and the requirement for annual inspections address only the treatment unit and not the tile bed or septic tank. The provincially mandated septic maintenance program does not exempt advanced treatment systems. It does not seem reasonable for one individual living in a home with a thousand gallon tank to be required to have to pump it every five years rather than a longer period of time. What, if any, considerations can be given for this? Seasonal or occasional use is not monitored or regulated by the township. All identified properties are subject to the same provincial requirements regardless of the use or occupancy. The inspection report is a visual inspection of the septic tank, and if the tank is not pumped, a measurement of sludge and scum would be needed to ensure that it does not comply more than one-third of the working capacity of the tank. You may wish to find a company that is able to assess the capacity of solids and scum to avoid any unnecessary pumping. Provided are some available resources with additional information about sewage systems, protecting our water supply, and the environment. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please contact us at smp at or at 705-487-2171. Thank you for watching.